Mr. President, Ministers, Excellences, Ladies and Gentlemen, dear friends. First of all, let me extend a sincere word of thanks uh, to Bucharest University uh, for awarding me uh, the title of Dr. Honoris Causa for my work in Denmark, in Europe, and at NATO. This is truly a great honor. I'm honored because Bucharest University is not only the biggest and most prestigious university in Romania. It also has a strong reputation in standing up for freedom and against repression. Students at Bucharest University play a key role in the student protests of the 1950s. And they were active again during the anti-communist protests in 1989, which led to the emergence of a new democratic Romania. That new democratic Romania became a NATO ally in 2004. And it was a powerful symbol of continuity that just four years later, at a NATO summit here in Bucharest, we agreed on the next countries to join our alliance. At the same time, it's important that all European allies, old and new, continue to invest in defense. That we look outwards, not inwards, as we tackle the challenges and opportunities of a globalizing world. And that we share the security burden more fairly with our American allies. For you, the younger part of this audience, the Cold War and the Iron Curtain are ancient history. During your lifetime, you have only seen the rise of a new Romania. And you have also seen the rise of a new Europe. A Europe that is increasingly both free and at peace. By keeping our door open for new members, NATO has helped to shape our new Europe, and we will continue to do so. But the new Europe is also your Europe. And so I encourage you to help shape it too, by taking part, by making the most of the opportunities you now have, and by making your voice heard. Together, we can and we will make the new Europe a reality. Thank you.